welcome back. Today we're going to be making a flamingo. It is the middle of June. We are into summer vibes, although it still doesn't quite feel like summer here in Colorado, but we're getting there. Things are green, so I am not complaining. To make a full body flamingo that you don't need to do any artwork for, I'm gonna be using two neon pink balloons. These are each inflated to about a three inch tail. And then for the beak and legs, there might be some controversy on this, but I'm gonna be using black for both those things. If you wanna give yours yellow beaks and legs, whatever color you want, do it. I'll be using black because I just really love the contrast of the neon pink with black. It's always been one of my favorite color combos. So I've got one here that's inflated about halfway, a little bit shorter. And then for the legs, I inflated this balloon a little bit longer, so about a three inch tail here on this guy, so that he can have some long flamingo legs. For my neon pink today, I am using the Vitalitex, which is now just called Sempertex. They had a little name change recently, but you can find the neon assortment, or you can just buy a full bag of the neon pink, whatever you wanna do, depending on how much you think you'll use this color. So I'm actually gonna start off with my shorter black 260. We're gonna start with the eyes and the beak. So for the eyes, we're just gonna do two small bubbles, maybe about an inch or so in size. You wanna give your balloon a little twist for that first bubble, and then do another bubble about the same size. So we've got two bubbles here. We're gonna take the knot that we made on our uh, nozzle here. We're gonna bring that over and wrap it around our twist. And then you wanna pull that nozzle right on through your two bubbles, and that will keep this from coming undone no matter how, whatever you do to it. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do his curved sort of beak bill. And um, for that, I'm going to come out, squeeze my balloon out so that it's easier to give it that shape that we want. And however long you want the beak to be, you're gonna make a twist there. And then we're gonna come back up here you want this bubble, this next bubble, to be smaller than this one, though, to help it hold that curved shape. So I'm gonna make this bubble about half the size. And then we're gonna twist this right back up into here where we started. So this is all gonna line up like this. You're gonna have his two little eyes kind of flat like that, and then the beak coming right down. And this small bubble here is gonna be on the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna just hold on to this in my arm real quick as we grab a pink balloon. So we're gonna take the nozzle of our pink balloon and we're gonna wrap it right into the center of this beak and stuff we've got up here. You can roll that right on through some of your bubbles to lock that in place as well. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna come back over the eyes. So these two bubbles that are the same size, those are gonna be your eyes. So we're gonna come right back over those. And when we get to the back here, we're just gonna kinda see where it's gonna land. And I'm gonna make a twist there, and then I'm gonna do a pinch twist. So that's gonna be a small round bubble. Fold your balloon over, grab that bubble, and twist it around itself. So that is a fuzzy pinch twist. <laughs> so that is gonna be the back of the head, and then we're gonna come back up towards the beak, and we're gonna twist our pink balloon up in front here. Okay, so you can kinda see how we're going. And then we're gonna take our pink balloon back one more time. This is gonna now be going along the bottom of the head. So we want another bubble the same size as this one. And we're going to twist it into that pinch twist that we left there at the back of the head. So now you can really see the flamingo head coming together. We actually don't need this bit of black balloon anymore. So you can get rid of this one. If you wanted to give your flamingo a little bit shorter legs, you could do this whole design with one black balloon instead of two. Just depends how picky you wanna be about how long his legs end up being and uh, how much you can save from that bit that you broke off there. So now you should be able to arrange his cute little flamingo face. So you have it like this. Our two same size bubbles are the eyes and those are inside the head and then we have that gorgeous little flamingo beak. Okay, so now at this point, it's really pretty easy on the rest of this. We're gonna give them a little bit of a twisty neck because they have long necks. So I'm gonna fold my remaining balloon into an S shape or a Z and give it a little squeeze. And that's gonna be his flamingo neck. Pretty cool, right? And then wherever, however long you want that neck to be, come to that point. And we're gonna make a twist and then we're gonna put a pinch twist at that there. Okay, so small round bubble and wrap it around itself. 
All right, so now we just need to finish out the body. You may even be able to do this with one pink balloon as well, but I like them to have a big full body. So I'm gonna bring in my second pink 260. I'm gonna wrap it right around that pinch twist we just made, kind of figurate it around your balloons there to get a nice, good, secure connection. We're gonna come straight back for the body. Now this is where this could be a hat. You just kind of do one of these numbers, super fast and easy. If you're at an outdoor uh, festival or birthday party, you need some quick designs, this would be a good one. Um, we're gonna do the full body on the flamingo though. So I'm gonna twist both of these pink balloons together right where I want the his width of his body to be. And then we're gonna come up on this longer balloon here that I have is gonna go up along the bottom and I wanna make it a little bit longer than the other two bubbles that I have so it'll kinda of loop down a little bit, okay? So that is his simple little flamingo body. With this extra bit here, what you can do is squeeze it out and then take the little tail end of that, fold it back in and wrap that around some of your twist and bubbles in there and that can be a little loopy tail for your flamingo guy. Once you've got it looped, then you can kind of squeeze it, roll it up to give it a little bit of a bloop shape. <laughs> it's a technical term, yes. <laughs> Okay, and then we're done with this hot pink balloon out here. So if you wanna get rid of the rest of that, you can go ahead and do that now. Dun -dun. Now with the legs, I'm gonna take my longer black 260 that I have. And usually for flamingo legs, what I do is I do a small round bubble for like the heel. And then I just do two longer bubbles about the same size. Like that. So we've got our little foot and then his feet are going to be kind of connected. So I'm just going to do two more toe bubbles. So one here and fold it back down into there. So you should have like this two bubbles here, two bubbles here, and then this is the first bubble that you made. All right. The rest of this, I'm just going to squeeze it out. We're going to take it up through the bottom part of his body. You should have a little bit of a tail left on the end here. And that's going to come right back down into the feet, wrap around the feet. And then once you straighten everything out, you should have a really cool flamingo. This is a fun one for restaurants because it doesn't take a ton of balloons, but it is pretty tall and big as far as most balloon designs go. And so it's a good eye-catching one. It can set it on their table and people at the next table over can see and say, hey, I want one of those. Also fun for birthday parties because who doesn't love a pink flamingo, especially in the summertime? Now, if you do want to fancy this up a little bit, because this is kind of like the flamingo that I've always made. I've changed up the eyes and the face a little bit, but it's still pretty much the basic flamingo that I started off my career with. Sometimes I like to dress it up a little bit since I've been doing this a while. So I like to grab a bubblegum pink 160 just to give them some extra fluff and wings in the body here. Here's my 160. I've inflated it almost all the way. It just left a little bit at the end there. And I'm gonna take my flamingo. I'm gonna wrap this around that pinch twist at his chest. And then I'm gonna do like a long bubble across the top here. Wrap that into the tail and do the same thing going back the other way into the chest. So another long bubble about the same size. And then if you have enough left, I sometimes even like to take this across the side of the body. So right above the leg into the tail and then back up the other side. Just have barely enough left to go right into that little chest pinch twist. And then he's got like a light pink and the hot pink on both sides. And I just think it looks really cool. And then what I do with these bigger ones is I pull them towards the back, kind of like a whale fin or something like that, and just give them a little curve towards the back. So it kind of looks a little bit more like his flamingo wings. You don't really think of flamingos as having wings, I guess, but they are birds. 
So then that's the more deluxe version of the Flamingo. You can kind of see how that little bit of a light pink on the 160 just adds some extra depth and dimension to this design. And I just really like the way it looks. I think the payoff is worth the extra time that it takes. So there is my favorite flamingo to make. I hope you guys like this one. I would love to see pictures of your flamingos. There's a whole bunch of different ways you could customize this and change it with the colors. You could do the eyes a little different with white and then draw the eyes on. Um, but I like not having to draw anything on because I'm not always the greatest at drawing things, especially when I'm like shaking and trying to draw on a balloon. But anyway, that's besides the point. I wanna see your flamingos today. We've got a free Facebook group where you can post pictures of this week's design in there so we can all see everyone else's creativity for this flamingo. Maybe you could do a rainbow flamingo or your favorite color flamingo. We wanna see it in that Facebook group. Link is down in the description below so you can join us there. If you are working at restaurants or birthday parties or you think that maybe you would like to do this as a job, you might wanna check out my membership for balloon twisters. It's for people who are looking to take their balloon twisting hobby and turn it into a profitable business or side job to make some extra money or even support yourself fully with balloons. It's an awesome job. It is the most rewarding job I've ever had. And now I get to help everyone else out there who wants to have the same rewarding job that I had back in Texas where I was doing gigs every single weekend and farming gigs out to contractors because we were so booked up we couldn't handle it all. I want you to have that kind of business as well. So I put every kind of resource, graphics, social media post, members only tutorials, clip art drawings, anything that I needed for my business, I put inside the Twister Hood there. So the people who are serious about growing their balloon businesses as well can have access to those resources which make it easier and more efficient so you don't have to worry about all that digital high-tech stuff. I'm really good at that stuff. You can focus on making balloons and I'll make your life easier on the business end. If you like this sort of a tutorial video, make sure that you're subscribed because I put out new balloon twisting tutorials all the time and I wouldn't want you to miss any. All right, I will be back again next week with another balloon twisting tutorial for you guys. It's gonna be a 4th of July themed one, so make sure you don't miss that. And in the meantime, I'll be over checking out your photos in our free Facebook group. See you guys there. Bye everyone.